Um, I was listening to the radio on the way here. I love the radio. Oh my god, I hate it. Weird, but I was listening to these two guys mm-hmm. talk, and they're just like hanging out. You know, they're in like a radio studio, having a lit- literally a podcast, mm-hmm. and then playing music in between. I guess what that's a, how podcasts kind of started. That's an, their original form. What is a, radio! What a brilliant idea to play a little bit of a podcast when people start getting tired. Play three songs. Yeah. And jump back in. Yeah. How good is that? Yeah, we'll just do that in the bonus. Yeah. You guys can have a radio hour. That makes uh, sense. I'm like, I'm like, oh, I really like these guys' takes on, on the Super Bowl commercials, but I'm kind of getting tired. Of I them. never thought about oh, it being a podcast. Oh my god, one of one of the, the Hot 100 is playing. What a nice little chaser. Yeah, that's really cool. It's a brilliant idea, and I see a little bit of a renaissance with radio because if I start to feel that way, I'm just a voice of the people. Someone was saying that yesterday to me. Really? In the car. Yeah. They love the radio. You know what? What? A spark a sp- can spark the fire. Well said. It's just a drop in the ocean. Well said. I was going to... Oh, TikTok is the new radio, kind of. That's where you discover new songs nowadays. Yeah, but the radio, it like serves a purpose. It's it's there for the in-betweens. Like, you're in the car and you you just like need the radio f- from A to B. You're not like sitting in your house laying on the ground in your bed like the whole day listening to the radio. I guess I just don't understand why you would listen to the radio when you have like the songs that you want to listen to at that moment at your fingertips. You've gotten tired of your own music and been like, I wish someone else yeah. could do this for me. That's true, but then I would put on like a random playlist that someone else has created Yeah, with the I vibe that I want. There's something about um, some song coming on that you like know, but you didn't know was going to happen. You know this idea that I had for an invention When I was younger that I think maybe exists now, but I had the idea first. It might not exist, but a car radio. What is it? A car radio system that allows you to plug in like your top 10 favorite songs. And whenever that song is on, it goes to that channel that it's on immediately. Because that always sucks when like your favorite song is on a channel and it's like you don't even know. Well, the beauty of the radio. And you're missing it or you tune in halfway. That just, I mean, the the beauty of the radio is that you don't know what's going to play. If you, but you could just listen to your your playlist if you want to. This With was before top. that was really an option. Oh, okay. Well, cool. It exists now. Yeah. So, <laughs> I guess that's exciting, but not in the way that I described specifically. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> Hey, Brooke. Hi, Connor. Are you ready to MAP? I'm ready to pee. Ignorance is bliss. I'm living in a world of my own, and it's awesome. Oh, I thought I was responsible for 9-11 when I was five. Where were you? In Pennsylvania. Touch grass, might I suggest. We're just going to dive right in today. Um, another one of your inventions, you'll, you'll find this interesting. Oh, I, yeah, I will. This is a scary one. Um, can we type in on Google really quick? So can we type in Kraft Mac and Cheese Philly, um, advertisement? This is insane. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about the invention of ours that was made. In a way it was. Look at this, the first one. Billboard that hugs fans back or hugs fans back. You go in there and you squeeze your body into the. the I just said a body pillow that hugs you back. Brooke, this is a billboard that hugs Philly. back, and it's in Philly. They are listening. I know. One hundred percent. Oh, you think I don't know that? Scary, yeah, because are. also this past week, one of our the idea we had about the projector on your head so that you can watch TV according to your position was yeah. invented. Yeah, the prototype. by a friend, by a friend of the pod. Yeah, but we didn't know he was a friend of the pod. Yeah, I did. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that, but still. Yeah. Like, that's well, wild. He actually messed with me before and was like, that is such a good idea. And I was like, dude, how realistic is this? And then we, like, didn't talk. I was like, you should, you should come on. We should, like, invent something together. And then that next thing I know. And then he made it. I, I am wondering why he's, well, if he's going to send it to us for... Us a sample. I don't think so. Why? Um, Do you? Th- is it real, or is it like animated and? No, it's real. Or it, 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 are you it, not th- edited and? 
he has a 3D printer. My favorite part is when he's like in bed with Pornhub playing on the ceiling. <laughs> is he? Talk about real life applications. Yeah, just wait. There he is watching TV. What? Well, there is Pornhub. Oh, I missed that piece. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. It's so great to have accessi- accessible porn. It is. In I've 2023. Oh my God, Shrek. Yeah. He's a man of the people. This yeah. Time. But it's amazing because he does all his stuff with a 3D printer and he just plugs stuff in and then the rest is kind of, I just need, oh, I need this for a projector. Mm-hmm. I need these things for a projector. But like the wonders of a 3D printer. I still don't understand what a 3D printer is. Some things are not for us to understand. But I've never even seen one. Like I don't know. It just printed that whole thing. Some parts of it. It printed sh- that whole projector. Not the tech parts, like, but the casing. Yeah. Do you feed materials into it and then it comes out the other way? Yeah, you give it a big thing of plastic, like a spool of uh-huh. plastic, and then it melts that and reforms it into whatever shape you want. Yeah, to like it's it's literally. But could I make a sculpture? Look at the sculpture that's on the yeah. Oh, okay. You could you could let's make a sculpture. You could you could um well we have to find a three D printer first. Are they? Can you just buy it at Staples or? Is it complicated? I think they're like pretty expensive. They're, I mean, you could probably Pe- get a good well, one. For well, like because people started printing 500 guns. Five hundred. Oh, but okay, look, that's a question I have. If you're printing a gun, can you do you can you a- make it shoot? Like you can make it shoot. I don't see why not. That's horrible. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. People oh. were 3D printing guns. Can you 3D print money? I guess you can 2D print money. <laughs> I think someone was trying to 3D print a car. We had a 3D printer that we could use at the library for free mm-hmm. at college. And people were printing like marbles and stuff. And then one guy was like, I'm going to print a gun. That's yeah. scary. Yeah. This reminds me of like what those chunky white MacBooks were. Like clearly like it's going to advance yeah. into something more. But like it's not quite there yet. Like it's something that's very clearly going to be big, but it's at the beginning stages. Does that make sense? No. Like, you can tell, like, there's going to be a lot of advancements in 3D printing. Like, it's going to be oh. able to do, like, more stuff than it does now, but it's not there yet. Same way, like, with the white chunky MacBook, like, you knew more was coming. Or the first iPhone, like, you knew more was coming, but it wasn't there. At the but what yet. is it? Like, I don't I don't have the access. The I don't have access to that information yet. I liked having my white chunky MacBook. It made me feel safe at the airport. Because I always said to myself, if someone t- tries to mm-hmm. take down this plane, you could I have this fantasy in my head where clobber I, them with the chunker. I'm taking out my uh, yeah. I, I think that my 15 pound MacBook, if I needed to slip it out of its carrying pouch, if I smack you over the head with a 15 pound MacBook, you're done. There's you're not you're not even coming back from that. There's no way, <laughs> especially if I have it sideways. You catch that corner on that part of your neck that kills you. Which I don't know where that is, but it wouldn't be a hard Google. Yeah. Well, remember when we used to have laptop like cases? The little plastic little, ones. Oh my god, those and then I had a plastic case that you would like snap on mm-hmm. and then also like a little like soft case that you would put yeah, in. Yeah, you zip it and, and now it. I'm just like raw dogging my laptop, yeah. like kicking it off my bed, like which is bad. Mm-hmm. I should get back into the habit of treating my objects with respect and love. That's a good thing to do. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't break another laptop. I've been to the Apple store like a hundred times this mm-hmm. year. But um how? How did we get here? I don't Well anyway. Uh what? <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine you guys being like, Oh, welcome to the podcast. Oh yeah, That's by the way. By the way, welcome to B N C M A P. We're back again. So against all odds, we're back again. <laughs> Against um, everyone that's tried to keep us from this spot. Here we are. No one said that it'd be us here today. No one said that. There was not a word on anyone's lips Mm-mm. that said we would be back in this here today at Harvard. Mm-mm. A- and here we are. Especially considering what we've been through the past week. Yeah. I feel like an entirely oh. different <laughs> human. <laughs> Me too. Sitting here. We both are, have had big changes in terms of. Sure. Like our livelihood. I was watching your Instagram stories and I was seeing that, um, like you got a. Well, I'm a mom. You got a thing. I don't know what it. What is what is it? No, oh, she's a guinea pig. Okay, <laughs> I was just gonna say rat. No, but that would be fine if she was a rat. She's a rodent, sure. Yeah. But she's not a rat. Okay, cool. Yeah. How is that? Well, <laughs> I'm seeing some like some domestic 
signs of domestic abuse on your chest. Oh, the scratching? Yeah. That was my fault because I was wearing a like bear. Oh. Oh, she's so cute. Look, Her name is Frankie. I just want to really quickly flag in the corner the photo you posted of me. Is it bad? Yeah, that's the worst photo you've, I've ever seen of myself. Are you kidding? No. It's so interesting what people think they look good in and what they look bad in. Because I think you look so cute there. And no offense, like some of the ones you think you look good in, I'm like, you could have taken a better picture. So it's like everyone thinks okay, that they look Okay, let's talk more good. about your rat. She's a guinea pig. Well, here's what happened. I've been wanting a pet. In a yeah. perfect world, I would have a dog. That's out of the question because we don't live in a perfect world. And I don't feel like I'm ready yeah. for that kind of responsibility. So next level down for me was cat. I was even too scared to get a cat because I am just like so anxious that I'm, I just would want my animal to have the best life possible. And I just am so anxious that for whatever reason, I wouldn't be able to give them that. So I was like, okay, let's go one step below cat with guinea pig. Well, actually I did want a rat at first because I'd been seeing all these cute videos of rats. So I went to Petco with the intention of getting like a mouse or a rat. And then I asked like what the most like, cuddly like lovable animal would be that they had in store like an animal that would be obsessed with me and they yeah. pointed me in the direction of the guinea pigs which i had had a guinea pig when i was little named patrick um for a few months before my mom gave him away without telling me but um so i you know held all of the guinea pigs yeah and this gorgeous one who's now named frankie seemed to be the one who loved me the most yeah. and I loved the most. Um, so she came home with me and that sweet picture there is us locked out of my apartment because I had forgotten the keys. So we, you're so outdoorsy. Yeah. We were being so outdoorsy together. And then I was freaking out because you have to like pay to have animals in my apartment. And I was like not wanting to, but the landlord had to come let me in cause I had locked myself out. Mm -hmm. Turns out guinea pig is okay. I free of charge. Right. Because there's, pr there's plenty of, <laughs> animals like like frankie that are probably already living right in your she's, apartment complex she's included in the yeah. whole, in the package rent free. yeah rent free which is awesome yeah turns out connor yeah. unbeknownst to me a guinea pig is a lot more work than a cat They're quick because you have to change like their bedding in their in their cage like every day because of the amount that they poop right which is awesome. And I was also worried about the litter box of a cat smelling up my tiny apartment. Totally. Turns out the cage smells so much worse yeah. than a litter box would. But it's all worth it for Frankie because we have really started to love each other. Yesterday I was like on the verge of tears because I thought she hated me and that I wasn't going to be able to give her the life that she deserved. Yeah. And she pooped 80 times on my couch because I let her roam free. But, you know, it's all about... Finding out what she loves, and she loves blanket time. So she loves sitting on me and then going under the blankets complete to the point of Does almost suffocating. Poop like when she's in the blanket and stuff. Here's the thing that I learned: she's gonna poop the second she poops like eighty different little. The thing with guinea pig poops, <laughs> Connor, that you might not know, they're not gross. They're they're like little rocks and that like coffee beans. Yeah, and they're just like. You can like handle them and whatever. They're not gross. Handle them. How do you mean? Like I, I don't want to like gross you out, but like you're grabbing them with your. I had no choice when she pooped eighty times on the couch. Well, you you were in your home, like. I had to like pick them up, one at a time, because it was like, you literally couldn't do anything else when there was hundreds of them on my couch, and they're not. They're they're just like little like coffee beans. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Raycon. This time of year, everyone's talking about making big changes, which is all well and good, but most of the time, pretty unrealistic, if we're being honest. I've actually found that the smallest changes to your routine can make the biggest impact. I'm always saying switch it up. Mm -hmm. Remember? Mm -hmm. In the same way, you don't have to break the bank to make a big deal purchase. Even the smallest things can be a part of a big change if it's something you use every day, like my Raycons. Raycon is a premium audio at the perfect price point, so you can build great habits without breaking the bank. My Raycons have been a huge part of my Love routine you, recently. I do. Well, I've recently been pretty consistent in my workout routine, except for the past few days, but I'm going to get back. And they're perfect because, one, they don't fall out of my ears, and two, they play the 1975 at the perfect working out volume. You know that sweet spot? 
Yeah, but I don't know how you work out to 1975, but that's a different... They have like some really good hype ones. Whether you're looking for a pair of everyday earbuds, low latency gaming headphones, or a speaker with a battery that will last all night at your next party, Raycon's got you covered. Guess what? The best part? Raycon started at half the price of other premium audio brands, so you don't even have to choose between products. You can get one of each, or a pair and a spare, and still pay less than you would with some of the other guys. Even if you know you'll love your Raycons as much as I do, Raycon wants to make sure you feel great about your purchase. They offer buy now, pay later options, and every purchase has an easy and free return guarantee. Here's the thing. Yeah. There's a feature on the Raycon headphones that allows you to kind of tailor your listening experience to what you want. How do you mean? Well, I'll tell you. Like, if I'm in the mood to listen to the pure sound of it all, I can do that. But if I want to listen to the bass sound, I can do that. It's really just what I'm feeling. Whenever I'm listening to podcasts, I like to use the pure sound so I can clearly hear the podcast host but you know oh you don't want bass you don't want bass but i do want bass when i'm working out i see it's like pump up the jams and so i have the option to kind of tailor that to my needs. i've never noticed that until raycon because i i have bass all the way up Mm -hmm. for working out well may i recommend turning it down to pure sound when you are listening to your podcast first for everything Ready to buy something small with a big impact? Go to buyraycon.com slash BNC today to get 15% off your Raycon order. Ooh. That's buyraycon.com slash B-A-N-D-C to score 15% off. Buyraycon.com slash BNC. And then I just washed my hands. Okay. Yeah. So that was right after she ate because she only eats like lettuce. Right. And hay. It's going to come right out Skinny. after she eats. Yeah. But like if I take her out, and it's been a while since she ate. She's not going to poop. So blanket time was after she. Oh, cool. After she, she hadn't eaten digested. in a while. Yeah. So she had already digested. So she was having a blast in my blanket. And we sat together for two hours. When did she go beast mode on your chest? Beast mode on my chest was when I was trying to get her back into her cage after she pooped 80 times on the couch. So mm. she now I know like after she eats, leave her in the cage because she needs time to digest. She's not wanting to be played with at that time. Totally. No, I yeah. mean, we're all like that. Yeah. Leave me totally. in my cage after Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And she's more of an evening girl. So, yeah, we had like the best time together last night. And now I feel pretty <clears throat> bonded with her. How did you name, why'd you name her Frankie? That has been on my list of pet names. And it just like made sense to me, like a guinea pig named like Frankie. How does your friend, and our Frankie fr- we have a feel- good friend named Frankie. And it made sense. Our good friend Frankie is like the baby of the group. Like she's a few years younger than all of us, yeah. and it just like kind of made sense to me to also have like a, a baby guinea pig named Frankie, yeah. and I feel like our friend Frankie would loves like being the namesake of our baby, our baby guinea pig. So I think Frankie's Frankie. gonna be around for a bit. Yeah, I'm really feeling like she's here to stay, and I'm gonna have to get her a friend eventually because guinea pigs love living in pairs. But we're getting to know each other first and getting used to the space, and then we'll have to get her a sister. Did you know in, in like Peru they eat guinea pigs? That's so sad to me now as a mother of one. They eat. I know. They eat rabbits. I know. Day. Yeah. I've eaten rabbit. Yeah. You know. I just. Yeah. It's good. But. It's really cute though. Like before they slaughter the guinea pigs in Peru. Oh. They kind of roam free. They I roam, was going to They roam amongst. I didn't know that there was a place where guinea pigs were native. Yeah. Guinea in pig, wild. Pi- guinea pig central is Peru. What about hamsters? Um, I'll tell you where hamsters roam free. Where? The lot next door to my childhood home. How about like, is there a specific country in addition to yeah, the lot? Yeah, it's the United country? States, Texas, to be specific. Oh, actually? I got two hamsters as a child. Well, right. I got one. I can't, I went through a very, very quick hamster phase. You're mm-hmm. not supposed to do that. I know, whatever. We were whatever, like eight. Right. And my yeah, parents, I had to write an essay to get right. this animal. Got it. My sister just immediately got one because I got one. Mm-hmm. No essay involved for right. her, naturally. Right. Um, I wrote all the essay, did all the Wikipedia research, put it in a folder, gave it to my parents. They said, okay, we got two. <sighs> Man and a woman. Fell in love very quickly. Oh, shit. yeah. Like, I kid you not, they were, I was like, oh my God, my hamster's having a seizure. Mm-hmm. Just banging the night away. Wow. For two nights in a row. Two weeks later, I don't. Understand how long <laughs> I don't understand how long hamster pregnancies are. They probably small because the uteri are just so tiny. I don't know if that's how it works. They're certainly not nine months pregnant. No, for we sure not nine like, months. But I don't know if the size of the uterus is 
related to the expedited gestation expedited pregnancy two weeks we had f- we had 16 hamsters wow yeah <gasps> 22 days i kid you not so now i went from writing an essay for one hamster then my parents were like all right we'll get mm-hmm. you one two 16 and you put them in the lot you let them roam in the lot next to your home so hang on well yeah because we live like kind of like it's like mm-hmm. land i had no choice but to release them right <laughs> I think you did have a choice. <laughs> what do I do? I'm not running out of a, a hamster brothel. I Run like a lemonade them. stand, like hamsters. Each other all day, <laughs> and then I'm gonna have a million hamsters. <laughs> I couldn't do that at that point in my life. But as could an they survive? I wasn't. No, certainly not. Right. But circle of life. But where do I'm asking? Where are hamsters native to? Where do they survive in the wild? Probably, because they have to, unless they were bred in a lab Europe in Asia. Whoa. So like we have squirrels in our backyard. They would just have a hamster. Yeah. Like like fish got to swim. Birds got to eat. Like think of, you know, like birds everywhere have to eat. Yeah. The guy at Petco told me that there. hamsters are like not friendly. No, not. Yeah. I don't think I touched Which my hamster one time. Many people have them as pets. I don't think I touched my hamster one time. I also had snakes and yeah. those I thought were going to be like fun, cuddly things too. lay it on my chest, curls uh-huh. up in a ball. No, I couldn't stand me. No. Yeah. Hated me even. Checks out first. Guess what? Had had ducks as well. Ducks for a while. Mm-hmm. Never understood the word dada. As long as I had them, they'd follow me from a distance. They didn't understand the word dada. No, you know it's like I'm your dada. Yeah, I'm your dada. Right. Poultry doesn't understand. Right. Parent parenthood. Right. But I thought that they had um, accepted me, imprinted on me, and Imp- I imprinted on them. Mm-hmm. No, there was no imprinting happening right. on, from either side. I'm that's not shocked. Sense. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah, because you get the in Texas, you can go get chickens mm-hmm. or ducklings from a feed store. Right, they Just had like, a chicken, a duck, and friends like as pets. Yeah, well, I had them. And they like we had a pool in the backyard. They would just live in the pool. Yeah, it's a hot in Texas. They could like they went about. We fed them whatever. Talk about poop. Mm-hmm. Crazy amount of poop. Oh yeah, but that's we released not, that into the gross wild poop, as well. Not cute little poop like Frank. No. And then I had the pig. Yeah, the pig. Pig kind of is reminding me of what Frankie did to you. Yeah, in terms of scratching. Screeching first of all, like never un- again. Another one that never understood. Mm-hmm. Smart animal. Potty trained in one day. Uh huh. But just like didn't ever want to be cuddled or anything. I just think kinda- Frankie's nonverbal. Because guinea pigs are supposed to squeal, and she has never made a peep. She's probably just getting she, used maybe to Maybe she's just really shy. shy. She Easter squealed time. once for me, but it was more of a sneeze. So she's so cute when she sneezes. I really love her, I think. That's good. It's good to love like yeah. something that is living in your home. Yeah, guess what's coming today in the mail? She has your this carrier? cute little cow bed coming. A backpack that we'll see if she likes, just in case I need to bring her somewhere like to the vet. I don't know if guinea pigs go to the vet. I guess if she's sick. Or the beach. I don't want to bring her to the beach, just in case. Ever? No, I would be too scared. Well, I I also got her like a really big pen that she can like have a lot of space in. So I could bring the pen to the beach and then put her in the pen. But I don't. There's so much land at the beach. She could run for. Well, she could run right into the ocean. You don't think you could catch her before she she runs into the break? She's so squirmy. I think you have the advantage. No, Connor, I don't. Okay. You'll meet her and you'll see. Okay. Are you going to like hold her yeah okay i kind of am nervous about the smell of your apartment though it's not it hasn't been a problem what smells is you know that like paper bedding that you line the cage with like it looks like paper mache pieces oh that's what smells it's like not her so i got her something else because she's peeing and pooping on it the poop does not smell so what do you what part of it i think what smells is like the pea soaked bedding but I'm getting rid of that and I'm getting her like a fleece that's washable. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. She like I it's like she is going to be spoiled rotten. Oh, Frankie. What else is I got her something else too. Oh, just like a lot of like fuzzy little beds to put all over my apartment. That's nice. They also like burrowing and stuff, right? They like- she is such a burrower. That's what she was doing during blanket time. I miss her. I'm bringing her next week if she's up. Bring her. Throw on her leash. Yeah. I've. We have we have a guy like in Austin. This guy has two ferrets, mm-hmm. and he walks down South Congress Street, and he has them on leash. Yeah, and they walk on the ground next to him. Yeah, I would get her. I, we'll see. It's just like following. It's about following her lead. Yeah, on a leash. Yeah, totally. Into the into the ocean. Mm-hmm. But now I'm realizing, oh, I could totally handle a cat 
because that's less work than Frankie. You can, but now I'm worried building. that that would compromise Frankie's life. Yeah, well, well, yeah. Which it would because yeah. I would have to put her high up, like get her a lid, not have her out as much. So <sighs> I don't know. Day at a time. One they, day at a time. One day at a time. That's all you can do. That's what I'm learning. But I don't like leaving her at home. I put on her favorite show, Grace and Frankie, for her. Nice. Yeah. She's going to love that. She loves Grace and Frankie. And obviously, when she gets a sister, that'll be Grace. Cute. Yeah. So, well, we're taking it one day at a time, but I would say we're like 70% to bonding. That's good. P- yeah. That's for one day, that's really great. Yeah. It's been two. This is the... Th- well, this is the second full day. Okay. Yeah. But it's only 9.57, so it's cool. <laughs> it would probably be. Yeah, but I got her the night, the 13th. She oh, okay. was born the 13th. Yeah. Not to split hairs. Yeah. Hi, guys. We want to take another quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, Away. Away makes suitcases, bags, and other travel accessories designed to make moving through the world less stressful and more streamless, seamless. <laughs> Which is a good thing because travel makes us better people by giving us such different perspectives. That's true. So no matter where you're going, you can rely on a ways range of travel products to solve real travel problems when you get out there. I have a ton of travel coming up. I have the like 15 weddings mm-hmm. this summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For some reason. And I just love this away bag. There's so many compartments and stuff. There's the thing that like locks. It like flips over. You put your underwear and stuff in it. There's a zipper pocket thing. There's like a thing you put your dirty clothes. The most important feature of the away bag mm-hmm. is how sexy you look in the airport. That's very true. Because there's a community of people at the airport that have away bags, and there needs to be like a Jeep wave for the away bag people. You know how they talk about the sexual tension between people your age? At the airport, it's more so people who have away bags. What color do you have? Each other. Lilac. If you saw me with a lilac away bag, what would you... W-I-D. I feel like the two away suitcases need to have like... Like they just start rolling towards each other. Yeah, like magnetic attraction. Yeah. They're they need magnet. That free yeah, idea. Free idea for a wife. Away offers a range of suitcases, bags, and other travel essentials made of different materials. Can you guess without looking the two materials? No, one is a long word that I love. Polycarbonate? Yes. Yeah, that's on my words I like. Whoa. And aluminum. Oh, uh, yeah. That's awesome. That's a no-brainer. In a variety of colors and sizes. So whatever you're packing and wherever you're going, Away has luggage that will help make your next trip more seamless. All of Away's suitcases are built to last, with durable, lightweight exteriors that can withstand even the roughest of baggage handlers. Would you consider yourself a rough baggage handler? Depends on the day. Uh Uh-huh. I totally am. Depends on the bag. You guys saw my away bag a few weeks ago, and it really is my favorite piece to travel with. It's not only a pretty color. Lila. You know. It also has features like the compression system that lets me pack more for my trip. That's what I was talking about. And also comes with laundry bags that can separate my dirty clothes from my clean clothes. Yep. With a sleeve that slides over your suitcase, away suitcases and bags work seamlessly together and move as one. Can we say seamlessly one more time, Brooke? Seamless. The seamless four 360 degree spinner wheels, which guarantee the smoothest roll even through the most hectic airport sensations. Stop putting carpet in airports. Away bags also provide a TSA approved combination lock that keeps all your belongings safe. Away offers free shipping and returns on any non-personalized order within the contiguous US, Canada and the UK. Plus there's a hundred day free trial on everything Away makes. Take the product out on the road, live with it, travel with it, even get lost with it for 100 days. If you decide it's not for you, you can return any non-personalized item for a full refund during that period. No ifs, ands, or asterisks. Start your 100-day trial and shop the entire Away lineup of travel essentials, including their best-selling suitcases and bags at awaytravel.com slash B-A-N-D-C. That's awaytravel.com slash B and C. I love my away. I me too. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy day Valentine's after. Day. How was it? What'd you do? Well, I was kind of just like b- bonding your, time in love with, with Frankie. Beast. Yeah, I was cleaning up poop all day. And that's the thing that Frankie's taught me on Valentine's Day. Love comes in so many different forms, not just in the form of all of the couples that you're seeing post on Instagram. Love can come in the form of love for a rodent. Totally. And love for your pet and love for your friends. So that's my lesson from Valentine's Day. And I didn't even have time to like get annoyed by all the posts on Instagram. Yeah. Because I was cleaning up after. I was worried about more important things. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? 
Actually, I don't know. I I try to stay off Instagram, but every, everyone's dating. Here's someone. the thing. Oh my, yeah. Like okay. every single person. Here's the thing. What don't people have anniversaries? What do you like, mean? Like, why are you dragging all of us into this? What do you mean? Why do anniversaries exist if now it's Valentine's Day and you guys oh. are just all doing it again? I I don't. I guess that's the point of Valentine's Day. Yeah, but we don't have like all of our birthdays, and then we have one day where we celebrate birthday day. Yeah, I guess they serve the same purpose. I just don't understand why we all have to be involved. It's just a sick, sick joke. Right. Uh, yeah. What was interesting to me about this Valentine's Day specifically is everyone posted. It's usually just the people that are like kind of in your face about yeah. the relationship that post. But even the people that I thought would make fun of Valentine's Day posts were posting. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Hey, I'm going to post hey, if ever given the opportunity. Hey, hey, I'm not. I'm going to end feed end story. I'm not jealous at all of this situation. I just want exactly what they have. It was just making interesting. Me bitter. It was just interesting. Yeah. To see I the people that were well. posting. I yeah, can't believe course. how many people hard launched their relationship on Valentine's Day. It's making me. Who think. hard launched besides Emrata and Eric Andre? A billion people. Emma Chamberlain and. Oh, Omo. yeah, that's true. But also a lot of people I went to high school with. And I'm like, I'm totally all for it. Like, I love, like, do it. Like, mm -hmm. hard launch your relationship on Valentine's Day. Act like you're Selena Gomez. It's fun to do that. Mm -hmm. But you have to act like Megan Fox when you break up. Because mm -hmm. we all have to know. Right. Don't. You can't half ass right, if it. You're Be pulling consistent. Us, if you're pulling us in, we're in. We're in. And you got to, you got to. Let us know when we're yeah. when we're we're okay. The soft launch to hard stop pipeline. If you soft launch to hard launch, you got to drag us all the way through to hard stop. I I agree. And you got to burn something of theirs. Yeah yeah. You've you're responsible. Yeah. Once you hard launch, you've become responsible you start a, for including us in your relationship. Tell us everything. Tell us everything. I agree. There's nothing better. I think that's the most pure form of entertainment. Is other people's so, relationships. Yeah, it's yeah. something that like we shouldn't really as people enjoy if you got down to like, if you got down to it and you're thinking about it, it's like, why am I really invested in these people who I really don't, I don't need to know mm -hmm. about Imrata and Eric, Eric right. Andre, but like, kind of interesting. But by the way, I give them two months tops. There was something really, really off about the photo they posted. Two months, and it was kind of giving me like a really haunting energy. She's gonna like get over the novelty of it in one second. Unfortunately, I don't think he will. N no, I don't think you ever get over being with Emrata. Someone that but I am friends with sat in her and her boyfriend sat next to them at dinner last night. And so they were, they were really nice to the wait staff. Oh, well, that's always good, but also like bare minimum. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. cool to hear though. It is. It is. Oh, I got you something. For Valentine's Day? Yeah. Open it towards the camera, okay. please. Okay. <laughs> I got my first boner from the green m&m oh connor yeah thank you i'm not hearing many laughs from behind the camera for some reason i love it <laughs> of course i love it you knew who else is gonna love this frankie oh i think her favorite color is green yeah wow connor i love it this is such a good bedtime shirt yeah oh and yeah you can wear it out even if you want out an and out, out. it's like an out course. daytime shirt thank as you. well i love it i love it i love it yeah it smells oh my god oh yeah i oh. washed it with the okay so just so everyone's aware oh. i gotta i gotta plug this mo i'm ordering it right this is <laughs> intoxicating i know like, this is little, better no, than your car cologne oh no it's better no, than car no. cologne i'm never washing oh them oh my god it's it's bone chilling it's insane um so okay so uh <sighs> like two weeks ago or something i get this package in the mail and it's shoot what's it called glamorous diva wash cup or, or diva N not diva cup diva that's a whole different thing. Diva something. Diva glamorous diva laundry detergent. See. Can you look it I'm up? Yeah, I'm ordering it. And I didn't know what it was. I was like, okay, my parents are constantly ordering the most insane stuff. Diva wash. Diva wash. Can Which I see it? Is, oh, glamorous wash. 
Every day, my parents order something. It's only $50. Every day, my parents order something to my house and say, I have no idea that how that happened. I double, triple checked. I'm like, okay, well, six time this week. So, But it's it's called The Glamorous Wash. 55 with tap. On Amazon. It's like this really hotel looking bottle. It comes in. It was tiny. It was like the size of like a small hardback book, childhood book. And I was like, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. My mom was like, you can keep it if you want. Like I'm, I already ordered more, whatever. This is the most insane smelling laundry detergent I've ever had. It's, it's unlike any smell I've ever smelled. It's, it's intoxicating. It's a new smell. It's rare to get a new smell nowadays. It's usually a combination of smells you're familiar with. Ryan, you're going to freak. It's nuts. That's really good. Isn't that no, nuts? No. Really Guys, I've never ever in my life been like, I need to wash all my towels right now. This is going to inspire you to do laundry. I, I need to wash all my hoodies. I, I need to wash my jeans. Like, not that I don't wash my stuff, but it's actually like getting me excited and keeping me, because I want that stuff to yeah. have that smell. For I wash all my bedding. I wash my duvet. I, I got everything in. I washed the... On my couch, I unzipped those pillows and Damn. washed those. That's when you know. That's when you know. Oh, but unfortunately, the glamorous wash Diva fine laundry detergent is about one million dollars. Oh, I just ordered it. I placed the order while you were speaking. Fifty five ninety two. It is so expensive. The cool part is because the smell is so <sighs> aqua de gio. Of it's it's like uh, it's literally like you could have. Some sexy you cannot put a beast having very soft core porn vibes cologne commercial for glamorous diva mm-hmm. wash. That's the same vibe to me. Like you, they, that that would sell this. They need a sexy like mucus man. No, no, no. I'm talking like um, Jay Alvarez and one of his coconut oil. One vibe? of his lovers making a video, mm-hmm. and then at the end, at the end it goes glamorous diva wash. So you're saying it's sexy. I'm just saying that's that's how this scent should be sold mm-hmm. because I want to roll around yeah. in this. I want to get so tied up in my hoodie, <laughs> tie the hood shut, it, be it, stuck inside. Oh my God. Frankie's going to love burrowing in something that <sighs> smells like this. Most of you have probably heard me sing the praises of pros. Sing it. The world's most personalized hair care. Switching to a custom routine from pros was one of the best things I've done for my hair. And the results I'm seeing just keep getting better. I've noticed a huge difference with my hair now that I've started using Pros. It's not only a lot smoother and shinier, but overall has become so much healthier. That's true. I've noticed a lot less breakage. And I use a lot of heat on my hair, even though I don't really know how to do it. I still do it. So Pros has really... We've all been there. Yeah. I love how each product has a unique formula that matches your specific hair goals, and it smells so good. This is another product that has a quiz. To kind I know, of figure I know. out your lifestyle. That's such a yeah. that's such a cool thing we have in 2023 is like products that are that have quizzes uh-huh. involved. Totally. Pros knows there's an, there's more to you than just your hair type. Pros is over one million consultants with their in depth hair quiz. We just talked about that, which is how I got started. The quiz took a couple minutes. Mm-hmm. It's like not a super long. Totally. Quiz. You know some of those BuzzFeed quizzes kind of throw you off. I learned a lot about my hair because I've been buying just over the counter crap right. forever. Pros is the first one that I've had in my shower where I've had guests over and they're like. Oh. Oh. First glance wouldn't have wouldn't have pegged me as, as like a, a guy that knows yeah. a lot about my hair, but pros, thanks. Um, by analyzing over eighty-five personal factors, pros handpicks clean ingredients that get you closer to your hair goals with every single wash. My favorite feature is Pros' review and refine tool, which lets me tweak my formulas for any reason in case I change up my address, my hair color, or even my diet. As a carbon neutral which you love. <sighs> Certified B Corp. Pros is an industry leader in clean and responsible beauty. All their ingredients are sustainably sourced, ethically gathered, and cruelty free. They're also the first custom beauty brand to go carbon neutral. If you're not 100% positive, Pros is the best hair care you've ever had. They will take your products back, no questions asked. Pros is the healthy hair regimen with your name all over it. Take your free in depth hair consultation, get 15% off your first order today. Go to pros.com slash BNC. That's P R O S E dot com slash BNC for your free in depth hair consultation and 15% off. Wow. You know what's, cr- you know what? Hmm. Here's an invention idea that you're not going to be able to 3D print. It sucks that no one that's listening on audio only or watching the video is going to be able to smell what we're smelling. And it, because of the price point, I've always 
wish I could Snapchat smells. Send a little bit of a smell. Mm-hmm. Facts. Via facts. By the way. Oh, that you're just saying facts. Like, hell yeah. No, F-A-X. I always thought when you were faxing something, like the same piece of paper you were faxing was going to the other we, place. Oh, smell a vision. Oh, they did try to do this. They've tried to do this like a hundred times. I feel like I've been, I've seen this on Snapchat before where they've tried to, they've, they've created like a thing where you could actually send something. And I think it would be just like, you know how the Nespresso machine reads your cup that you put in, but like it, cause there's a scanner on it. Yeah. I feel like you could actually be like, like breathe on it. And it actually like when you make paint at Home Depot, it pulls different scents and it could create the scent and then send that that number through to another thing and then it would it seems easy it when you put it like that well i think that maybe this is a space where we are here for a reason and there's a lot of brain power happening. yeah maybe after this we can walk down the hall to one of the laboratories yeah. and kind of see what we can do yeah we should talk to someone here because i feel like there's a there's a wealth of people here and we don't really like use a ton of our resources I know. Around the campus or in the I'm library. I'm the same way. I've not read any of these books yet still. No, but good. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Come in. Come in. Hey. Oh, what Hi. Up? Is this the is it foul tip? No. no. Oh. They're down oh, the. No. Oh, down sorry. The, yeah, no worries. Yeah, no, this they're. This is BNC oh, MAP yeah. right. 101. Well, sorry oh, sorry. Thanks yeah, for, no, for you are good. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. No, no worries. worries. Oh, they're sweet. They're so sweet. That happens all the time here. Oh, it's confusing. These hallways. Oh. Are, yeah. 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 No worries. Um, I was going to tell you something about this detergent, I think. It's not like normal detergent, right? It's like you put a tiny amount in. That's what I was going to say. Because it's such an intoxicating like smell, it's not going to make you sick, but... You could put way way less, so I don't I don't think it I think it's more expensive than if you went pods or something, but you don't need to use as much. So like, I think it does it cl like clean. I don't know. You think I don't care honestly. Like I don't want it to. I just it is so good. I honestly don't know. I have no idea. Okay, no yeah. worries. Okay, cool. I know that this is gonna be like sick and beaten to death, mm -hmm. but do you watch the Super Bowl? Obviously. You didn't watch it? I watched the whole thing. Yeah. And can I just say I was, I genuinely for the first time in my life experienced an emotion. Whoa. At the end of the game. I was sad that the Eagles lost. Oh, because, yeah. Yeah. because you had, you had some skin I in the game. I had skin in the game. Yeah. I was really, truly disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. For the first time ever after a sports game. So that was sad for me. I think that you weren't alone there. I yeah. want the Eagles to. Who I, were you rooting for? I didn't really care this yeah. time. It was kind of weird, and it, I thought it was. I was like way more invested in the uh, commercials. No, like in the like the Kelsey brothers playing each other, and like I didn't the, know they were brothers yeah, to the end. I know they're, they're too sweet. They're awesome. Yeah, they're really cool, and they're such different vibes too. Yeah, what? which one do you like more? I think I like Jason more. Is he the Eagle or the Jeep? He's the Eagle? Yeah, he's just like That's so. He's just like it's classic guys guy. Yeah, just like family guy. Totally. And then um, Travis is like hype beast, mm -hmm. like Ch Chet Hanks, like just went. Ha yeah. Did you hear him at the after? Oh, like, God, no. Okay. So he just like Patrick, Patrick, Patrick Mahomes was like, his brother. I just want to thank everybody. And man, we had a crazy game. And Travis was like, and no one thought we were going to do it. No one thought we were going to do it. And Patrick's like, yeah, thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Travis. Yeah. Yeah, we went out there and we, yeah, no one said we could do it. You just like kept jumping in. It was like so Chet Hanks Aww. of him. Patch was like, yeah, thank you. thanks, man. Thanks, I love man. them. Yeah, they're, and their mom was there wearing a split jersey down the hat. Down, oh, down that hat. must be so fun as a parent to genuinely want both teams to win. Yeah, she had a blast. Yeah. It was sad. At the end, I don't know if you saw it, um, Jason like hug, like fell into her arms and was crying. That, I can't even imagine the feeling of losing the Super Bowl. No, I mean, like it must be thinking about the dis the small disappointment I experience, multiplying that by in a number that doesn't exist. Like that's so tragic. You know? Yeah. No, I I don't. Like I seriously don't. I, I, like, I, know, I, I truly know what you can't. Mean, like I was I was getting like heart murmur lo looking at them getting ready to walk out onto the field. That was freaking me out. I know for a fact I would black out. Like I, I know that I know yeah. that I would get down and be like, "Whoa, oh crap!" That it all just happened. well, I would get the yips, the yips, like the zoomies. No, that's a thing in golf where 
I think it's psychological when your hand starts to like shake. Oh yeah. And you kind of just like fumble the game and that would happen to me. That well, hap- that happened to me in softball. The yips, a stream of a, a, a state of extreme nervousness that causes the golfer to miss an easy putt. Yeah. Whoa, nice, bro. Thanks. Um, That's golf lingo. Thank you so much. But um, that happened to me. I played softball, and I could I could not make contact with the ball. Like I was always swinging like a, a millisecond too late or too early, and I just they put me they took me out. Of batting, had, I was called a flex like, player, where yeah. I, they only let me go in the field, and then somebody would sub in for me. A flex player I is not a bad bad thing to be. No, I hated batting, so I loved because honestly, I was very good at softball. Shockingly, in in terms of being in the field, I always could catch a fly ball. I, had a, I have a great arm. My softball coach said I have hand eye coordination that one cannot teach. He's That's in jail. Good, yeah, but so true. Yeah, like I really was good. Could get a ground ball, no problem. I was shortstop and what's the outfield called? Right outfield. Behind. Right outfield. Right field. Outfield. Yeah. In the right. Towards the right. Outfield. Towards the right of the right field. Fielder. Yeah, right, right fielder. fielder. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And get this. They wanted me to be on varsity. Yeah. For my senior year. Something came up. Something came up. I said, actually, I'm going to go to third team intramural because I have a crush on that coach. The so one I. That's in jail? No, 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 no. Jail coach was JV, which I was on for three years. And then for my fourth year, they said, do you want to be on varsity? And I said, I'm going to head to third team with Coach G. <laughs> and that was awesome as well. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And me and all of my friends who never they went played softball joined, joined third team softball. Oh, that's kind of fun. Yeah. It was awesome. You know what's weird? Mm. This, shouldn't, this shouldn't have made me think of this, but there was a study that just came out. That like office really, sorry to bring this up, but like what? office crushes and like relationships are down by like 25% in like the last because 10 years. Because we work from home? Oh, probably. Yeah. But this was. <laughs> 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 that, that'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> that could be it. But they were going down before too. Mm-hmm. Why do you think? Probably like sexual harassment. Oh. Uh, but like they they're saying like you couldn't do a Jim and Pam type thing anymore because right or honestly you get fired they're probably just not reporting it they probably still exist but they're not being recorded oh yeah. people do it in secret well I guess like that that lady cop and those that like had sex with every single one of her coworkers who did you not hear that whole story we I lady guess we cop didn't... lady cop I think just cop lady what cop lady police cop. officer Pol- okay <laughs> um <laughs> hang on. No, Connor, no. Do not tell the story of the police officer that had sex with all her coworkers. Talk about the Super Bowl, like what we came here to oh, do. Oh, oh, oh. No, I think it's fine. Super, well, we can go back to the Super Bowl. I'm interested in this. Hi, guys. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. I know I always feel my best when I'm hanging with friends, whether we're going out or chilling on the couch. Being surrounded by people I love allows me to be myself, have fun, and not stress about what's going on in my life. When you're at your best, you can do great things. But sometimes life gets you bogged down and you may feel overwhelmed or like you're not showing up in the way that you want to. Working with a therapist can help you get closer to the best version of you. Yeah, you think I don't know that? <laughs> <laughs> Therapy is like the tool to use to, to help find, like dive deeper in yourself and, and, and they give you, they give you, it is a tool to get more tools. It's like the Mickey Mouse tool bag. They give you the, the backpack, the which tools is the tool. for you to use. And then the backpack would be the therapy. Right. And you unpack the therapy and it gives you more yeah. tools, like positive coping yeah. mechanisms, yeah. things like that. Yeah. It helps me grow. Yeah. As a person. Yeah. That's like my biggest takeaway right. from therapy. I also know a lot of people who have gone to therapy mm-hmm. that have reaped just incredible amounts of benefits <laughs> from their therapist and going right. every day. Wait, are you Thursday therapy now? Yes. Tomorrow. Thursday at 11. That's a good time to go to there mm-hmm. because then you can either go to bed for the rest of the day after mm-hmm. or just enjoy it. Exactly. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, it's flexible, it's affordable, and it's entirely online. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with the licensed therapist and switch therapists for any time at no additional charge. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash BNC today to get 10% off your first month. That's better help. H-E-L-P dot com slash B-N-C. I've oh. never thought about like an office romance amongst 
law enforcement. Yeah. Um, so they were kind of just all banging this, their coworker. That is so interesting because it's a, such a male dominated space that when there's one female, I bet it's like, go on. Like, just like they all are kind of horny for her in, in less, in non You know what's words. weird is you're exactly right. Yeah. Cause that's what happened here. Yeah. They all got fired. Yeah, I bet. Even the whistleblower. Was he a, was he also having sex with her? I think so, yeah. Why did he whistleblow? <laughs> he was probably, he got jealous. And yeah, took I think there, down. Was, there were six of them, so I don't know how many people are on each squadron. You know what? Go for her. Girl boss too mm-hmm. close to the... Too, girl bossing too close to the sun, but hey. Mm-hmm. Yesterday when I was walking back to my house, because I had a meeting at 9 a.m. at home, mm-hmm. I walked down, I had just enough time to walk down, grab a coffee, and I turned around to walk back home. And you know the Venice sign? Yeah. Okay, so all of a sudden there's a cop on every street. There's like 12 cops lighting the road. I've seen this one time when I was in a riot and when I was like 12. And I was like, oh crap, I don't have time for like a riot right now. I have to go to this meeting. Uh So I like walk up and as I'm getting closer, I realize that they're posing for a photo under the Venice sign. And then I look around and I see Dave close off every single road. To take a photo? from ever from all directions there's it's a four it's a, the busiest intersection in venice beach and it's a four-way intersection they closed off every single road at 8 56 a.m to take a photo <laughs> all right awesome so that's that anyways the super bowl so that's where i was i was kind of just like really underwhelmed i was also like pretty hungover on sunday mm-hmm. so i just wasn't really like in the mood to like super bowl yeah. but i didn't care because i didn't really care for the team so i right. was like really full sending it into fan mode. right but it was cool i was kind of a fan because so many of our friends in the industry had ads that they were supporting like i did the Coors light thing and uh-huh. then i saw the commercial that i like did the ad yeah for, and then hank did the uh the must mayonnaise commercial oh, and yeah. Then that was on. yeah Brittany did the t-mobile one the t-mobile that one was, that was my favorite one i yeah, think with that was good. john travolta and zach raff i think they, what they sang? Something from Greece, right? Like it was like a spoof of a Greece song. Give me more. Yeah. Than another. Like he was supposed to sound like Danny, but he sounded just like Edna from Hairspray. Like Edna, he was giving oh. Edna, right? That's the mom's name he played I in Hairspray. Seen Hairspray. You're kidding. No. Oh my God. But he like fully channeled her as opposed to Danny, which I loved. That's that's great. Yeah. He, um, gone for a long time. I haven't seen his face He's since Wild He's a confusing Hogs. one. Well, he was like canceled fully and then right. he's back in the number one spot. Yeah, I don't I don't need to understand him, I guess. Is he a Scientologist? He's something because he's, something. he's aging backwards again. Really? For sure. What is that called? Benjamin Buttoning? That's not Ozempic. No, Ozempic is the weight loss one that But his he just looked like he was forty again. I don't agree. Oh, did I don't he not? think he looks like particularly good. Oh. I was kind of like dozing in and out. Mm -hmm. Um, I have like a lot of commercials that I thought were good. Across the board, Farmer's Dog. That is the one that took the, yeah. I don't get why. Okay. I think that there must be a lottery and they must pull people out of the hat and they go, all right, we got 17 people Mm -hmm. in in that one a sad dog commercial. Because you can't have a bunch of sad dog commercials. Usually it's like, Budweiser has their ad with mm-hmm. the Clydesdales and the dog is out and gets gets away and like comes back home and it's like but like you can't have 10 Marley and me commercials in a row because right. everyone would be just like weeping right so I think that Farmer's Dog got the sad dog commercial this year well they're also like a dog based company I know but everyone uses dogs like I feel like I guess but I think it like it makes more sense for the dog based company to have a sad dog commercial than totally like a beer one but know? I just I think that they have to like have Raffle some sort it of off. yeah yeah I know it went like completely dead silent in the room when that came on and I was just like, oh, mm-hmm. kind of like a vibe killer. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm going to buy Farmer's Dog. Of course. Because I want my dog to I'm like- going to buy Farmer's Dog for my guinea pig. Yeah. It sold me. Yeah. Tubi. Tubi won. Tubi wins. Tubi won. Tubi had Everyone's the Everyone's talking about Tubi. I can't stop talking about Tubi. No one can stop talking about Tubi. I turned around. I thought I was like- I mean, see. everyone stood up at the same time to see if they were on the remote. Mm-hmm. 
really, that really, was, really that was like the, genius. That was the coolest thing I've ever Like had. genius. Whoever yeah. had that idea, like please go ahead and also invent that smelling machine because you are the smartest person yeah. in the world. Truly. That was nuts. And I I got like kind of annoyed. Really? But they, they really, yeah, because I was like, we were just watching the game. Like who the heck is yeah. like turning it to a show? Because I was like, I'm bored, but I'm not that bored. Did you see that like family that had themselves recorded from, they have like a camera in their house, like a some ring thing. And they had footage of themselves during the Tubi commercial. Like the dad s- like screamed at the top of his lungs. Like who the f- fuck is sitting on the remote like screamed and everyone shot up and freaked out and then the commercial ended and they were all like in hysterics like cracking up well I, that's what i think they like got all these emotions from yeah that's they got everyone so worked up that's good that's good it's genius classic it's advertising genius. it's genius to be to be one i have prime written down for some reason oh prime i the prime is i don't the, remember that one the logan paul drink that oh he came out oh with. oh i just think it's cool that there's someone from the internet that is now like on the buying a seven million dollar Super Bowl spot. Right. I just like guess I wish it was like Brittany Broski. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I know. Just something to think about. Yeah. It's cool to like that used seven to, million dollars to buy a spot. I think it's seven million dollars now. Yeah. Wow. Because uh, Mr. Beast came out and was like, "Hey, if you don't want to spend seven million dollars, you want to reach a hundred million people another way. Like, I'll, I'm much cheaper than that." Whoa, power that is play. a power play. Yeah, smart of him because he could. He'd... Wow, everyone's so smart. Everyone's so smart all of a sudden. Yeah, good for them. Yeah, keep going. Mm-hmm. Um, ooh, this is gonna be a hot take. What? I'm so sorry. Serena Williams was in two commercials. Uh huh. One was pretty heavy. I didn't know what it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like, I don't know what mm-hmm. I thought it was gonna be, and then it was, I think Remy. M- Martin, the like alcohol company. I didn't pay attention to a lot of the commercials because I was on my phone. Yeah, no, but, I was on my phone too, but I was yeah. like, I gotta have something to to bring to the yeah. table. And then the next one was just like the most upbeat, um, uh, like beer commercial. Michelob I hate Ultra. When people advertise two things because it's like, which one? Yeah, like you're clearly not telling the truth. She did the same thing. You don't love both products as much. I mean, maybe you do, but it's just like. No, but it, was, it just it like was, lessens the. It was two alcohol companies. It was Remy Martin, yeah. which is like a really like upper class like drink, like top shelf drink, right? And then it was Michelob Ultra, which it just makes me I believe put, you less. I would like butt chug a Michelob Ultra. Yeah. So, I was like, and it was like a fun. I was like, yeah. And she's like, she's like number one woman in the world, just like powerhouse. And mm-hmm. then I'm kind of like, obviously I'm not. You know, she's smarter than I am, but and she has a team of strategists probably right. as well, but. I was like, I mean, we're talking about her. I think at the end of the day, that's I know, what but I, it want. made me really mad because when I was at Bumble, we tapped her for the Bumble commercial. It was like the first Bumble mm-hmm. com- commercial that's ever been done, and it was like a really huge deal. Everyone worked on it. They filmed it, and then the next commercial break, she was in another ad, and I was like, oh. But she did do the Bumble one. Oh, yeah, it just balls in your court. Yeah. was the whole tagline. Mm-hmm. Oh, cute. Yeah, I know, but it's like. It's just like, it actually, if you think about it, like I, I think about it from like an influencer perspective, if I accept every single deal I get, people stop believing it and then I, my worth becomes less. Like obviously there's no touching a mm-hmm. Serena Williams net worth. But like, it kind of makes me be like, ugh. Like, I'm, like right. who, how do I believe you? Right, but I think like with people like us, it's like, I hope people understand that like we need to make money. We pay rent. <laughs> Whereas... <laughs> She can be has the opportunity and the privilege to be more selective. Yeah. That being said, I also think I would continue to take almost every deal to support my family of me and Frankie. Wholeheartedly, yeah. yeah. It's selfless when um, you think about it. What? It's selfless when you think about it. No, I think so too. Yeah. But I thought the Rihanna concert was fantastic. I did too, but I really did relate. To that one tweet that was like, it gave me blue balls. Here's what I'll say. The same way that you said like Serena Williams, like she comes out, like uh-huh. if I were given all these offers. If I'm Rihanna and I get the offer to play the Super Bowl, I'm doing it no matter what. Everyone else can suck oh, my No, of course. And I dick. loved it and it was great. But I like, I just felt like I was like waiting for something like the shoe to drop. Yeah. 
Is it the shoe or the other shoe? I've never heard that. I don't know. Why why, why would a shoe be dropping? I don't know. I just reason? was like waiting for like something crazy big to happen. And it never did, which is fine. And like the whole thing was big. I don't know what I was waiting for, but it just felt like I was there needed to be something massive happen. I think and it just this didn't. is one of the smartest people strategy wise in the world the fenty i think yeah the fenty i guess fenty searches for fenty went up 830 percent or something it spiked which is not that much in my opinion Mm -hmm. for like a super bowl spot you don't get paid to do the super bowl like i just learned that yeah so she's like i'm gonna slip this in where i can right split second threw it in she probably i don't know if she got approval for that doesn't need approval Mm -mm. i just thought it was very cool effortlessly just like powerful yeah there's and then i realized i saw this on tiktok so she comes in, and she's by herself, mm-hmm. wearing red. Right. I'm not going to say devil-worshipping stuff, although that's what everybody's liking to say right now. And then, so she's in red, and and then all of these little white right. people come in, and they're running in, or white dress people, and they're running in towards her, and they surround her. Yeah. She was the uterus, or whatever, whatever wherever the... What? what gets, I'm sorry, not uterus. It's the womb. <laughs> Yeah, wait, wait, what but am I that's, thinking of? you're and right. Those are all sperm coming in to fertilize. No. Yes, yes, yes. No. And there's a whole thing where she goes through. If you go through her set list, she starts out with like, oh, freaking balls. I wish I could pull it up. Bitch better have my money. Bitch better have my money. Yeah. And then it goes through and it's like, bitch better have my money. Where have you been all my life? She's falling in love. Treat me like I'm the only girl in the world. We found love in a hopeless place. They break up. So she gets pregnant, all this stuff. I don't know. They, I they am having a, a hard time. They told it a lot. They told it a lot better. Basically, I'd like, be she curious go, she to goes see that. Like falling in love, right? Gets pregnant. The guy's a which dick, song is about getting pregnant? Leaves her. I don't know. Only girl in the world. Mm-mm. We found love. Mm-mm. We'll it's, find the TikTok and bonus. I saw it too. Okay. okay. Yeah, I don't know. It was a really good I'm explanation, and then they get back together, and then they're diamonds in the sky, and they're a beautiful. Family. Not buying it. But they have like when. She, I wish I could explain. I it don't better. understand how the it was her Rihanna being in red is symbolic of a wound. We'll pull it up, but it was it was her in red and then being surrounded by sperm. It would make sense for her to be an egg. I think that's what they were saying. Yeah, she's not an egg. Not in the traditional sense. No, but like, there's nothing about like a red on red outfit that screams egg. It was just like flesh. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I don't know. Okay. Well, I'm curious, but I'm not buying it. So I'm excited to see that in bonus. Okay, well, yeah, uh, it was really well put. Anyways, okay. and then when she finally, like, shows her, she's mm-hmm. been fertilized. Right. Gross to say, kind of, for some reason, but thought it was cool. And also, she said in the interview before she went on that she was bringing out a special guest. So I kept yeah. thinking it was Eminem. I kept thinking, like... Well, everyone thought the MGK, Megan Fox was an Easter egg? thing was an Easter egg for Eminem coming out. Which I forget how they got to that, but it wasn't. No. I was also thinking, I was like, why would... Rihanna's not fucking with... No. <laughs> Megan with, Fox right. and MGK. I, I didn't think so either. But yeah, her special guest was her little baby. Yeah. That was sweet. I did love it. I that, just was like waiting for like an explosion of sorts. I thought it was... I thought it was phenomenal. I thought the theatrics were awesome. I thought she was going to fall at one point. Oh, the, when that thing started why shaking. Why did they strap her in? I don't know. Do you I think was, her shoes were like velcroed on there. Or something? I don't know. That she was, was freaky. Because oh, she what? was. Like she had a you could see it like behind her. God damn! Her, like, can you imagine if Rihanna fell off that platform no, and at the Super Bowl? That would that have would been be like, like 9/11. A, yeah. I was just gonna say nine eleven, but didn't know if I could. We would say it almost every. Episode, I know, but comparing so. that to nine eleven didn't feel right. No, but. oof. But it would be. Like this like is the, this is like as this is the world stage. Yeah. If we lost if we lost Rihanna up there, like that, that would, would be, be devastating. Devastating. And I say that because after seeing how many people were just like losing their minds at mm-hmm. this, and like we had the whole nation watching, she definitely she must have pulled in people that wouldn't have watched the Super Bowl because obviously the the NFL oh, is uh, strategic course. and pulled in uh, like a bunch of people for the Rihanna concert like uh-huh. at, at the football game. Like that was. I mean, I was excited too, like yeah. to see because I didn't really, even really care about the team right. playing. But you know, I thought it was I thought it was good. And the mm-hmm. pull out there's a there's a uh, shot at the end where they pulled out. Oh, there's a strap. Oh, okay. good. Thank that's God. good. That's really good. How did she get attached to that? I missed that. I think she had that jacket on. 
when they strapped her in and there was probably like a I didn't person see anyone in her strap jacket. her in. A person in her jacket? Well, they also had the, all so many camera angles, you know? Yeah. I don't know. They also had the people on the crew wearing white, so they looked like part of the dancers. Oh. Interesting. One of she the dancers so did fall. Did you see the dancer that did no. fall while it was raised? No. Yeah. I'm wondering oh, how they I would doing. never I would never leave the house. I Although would, I didn't even see it. I would make a TikTok about it and just become famous mm -hmm. from that. I fell on walking to the stage of graduation. Really? Mm -hmm. At college or mm -hmm. high school? College. How was that? I didn't care. Like I like truly like was so ready to get out of that place and hated everyone that I was like, I don't I don't care about anything. At Did that you point, trip? Did you fall on the ground? Uh, no, I tr I stumbled and tripped, and then they said my name wrong. I didn't. And then I eat. left. I was so um, excited, just like to have graduation day. It's like a big deal at Texas. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like probably the most expensive event they put on every year. Right. Fireworks. It's the you know it's so many people that we and the tradition is like you go to a bar before and you have this like Long Island iced tea, mm -hmm. the Texas tea, and then like everyone's drinking. But I hadn't eaten. I literally got so drunk in the morning that i fell asleep in the sands and someone tapped me and was like we have to go up with the thing knelt to accept my diploma right. on one knee and then said my liege yeah and then hopped the fence off of this to is there video footage of that uh, allegedly yeah uh-huh there's like video footage it. of everything right i can't believe that they gave they handed me that my diploma after that my diploma my degree yeah, well you earned it yeah, but mm -hmm. something they like, can't not give it to you just because you're you're fun, you're goofing around. Because I'm just like a goofy boys guy. Will be boys yeah, boy, exactly. All right, I think I think because we are running out of time. I think for in honor of Valentine's Day being over, right? I think we got kind of like a write in from somebody that did. And am I the asshole? I'm excited. Um, thing for us to read today. Okay, Valentine's Day edition. Let's edition. do it. All right. Am I the asshole for telling my friend why she shouldn't confess her love for one of our teachers at this Valentine's Day? Just saying I am on mobile. English isn't my native language. So yeah, get ready. Perfect. A little background first. My friend has at least 10 dumb crushes every year. 10? Only 10? <laughs> she goes... Yeah, that's <laughs> child's play. <laughs> full on crazy for these. And she's really stubborn. Is this about you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Last time when she had a crush on our whole friends group <laughs> h-o-l-e hole these teachers even her dad told her he isn't a great guy he's wait he's not single but nope she was she still had a crush full on the whole friend him. group the teachers and even her dad even her dad last time when she had a crush our whole friend group the teachers and even her dad told her he isn't a great guy they, oh, oh, everybody yeah. told her. Okay. He's not single, but nope, she was still full crazy for him. Even got upset and cried when she found out that he is a girlfriend. By the way, she's 18. This is like totally normal behavior. Yeah. I'm confused. Last night when I was chatting with her and I asked if she has any plans for Valentine's Day. This is, by the way, if you're listening on audio, this, I'm doing my best. <laughs> you like, really are. This is written. You're doing better than this I This is written do. in like hieroglyphic. Yeah. <laughs> She told me that she would give a love letter to one of our teachers who was 35. Okay. Turns out when she finally realized that her crush was an asshole, she quickly developed one for our male English teacher. I was like, didn't you hate him? <laughs> <laughs> her hate somehow turned into love when the teacher walked into the classroom with a horse tail. A horse tail, I told her. One, he will reject her for all reasons. Two, he's 35. Three, she can't really give anything to the relationship. She said it was right and she was going to bed and said goodbye. Am I the asshole for getting fed up my friend's stupid crushes and telling her she shouldn't confess to our teacher? That was the am I the asshole? No, I don't think you're an asshole for suggesting that she not profess <laughs> her love to the teacher. I do kind of think you're an asshole for like judging her crushing on everyone else that's appropriate to have a crush on. But I think it's fine to intervene when it's the teacher with a horse I, tail. <laughs> <laughs> with a horse tail. What do you think? Um, I think it's normal, but the, she, the girl does seem like she needs help, but in a different way, like therapy. I don't even, yeah, well, I don't really see anything wrong with her. Wait. I think it's normal to have, like, of course you're going to have a 
crush on your 35 year old male English teacher. Like that's normal. <laughs> you know, the I thing- think the thing is like confessing it is where I would intervene. The thing about teachers and coworkers and everything is like w- out of the situation of them being your teacher 100%. or your coworker or your boss. No, no. You see them at the grocery but store. The you're position like, of power is I- what it is. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I for think, teachers, for sure. I think it's the thought of like the the, pickings, the, are, the pickings are slim. Oh no! So I think within with the teachers, confines power. of the dating pool, even even unrealistically, the dating pool. You're not dating your teacher. Mm-hmm. That's 35 or 18, unless you're in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Then like, it does something to the human body. I think it's a lot of different things, but for sure, like teachers are. If you saw them out on the street, you wouldn't think twice. But when they're in the classroom. Of course you're going to yeah. develop a crush. Sure. I think she's completely normal. Who? The girl who has all these crushes. See, I don't think her going from, I hate my teacher now because he has a girlfriend. Like, you probably don't take that personally. She didn't hate her teacher because he, the teacher didn't have a girlfriend. Yeah, once she found out the other teacher had a girlfriend, she fell in love with the male English teacher no, with the horse tail. No, that was a peer. The first one. No, no, no. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. The horsetail. Yes. Do so then she moved on to the horsetail. Oh, yes, Connor, I do. What did you think it meant? Like, I thought he had fully attached a horse, a and horsetail you, to his oh. butt region. No. Oh, well, I don't, that's what I had thought. I think so. Wow. Oh. So you were experiencing this in like a very it, different. Yeah. What did you, you thought? Always ponytail. I was thinking, I was thinking she was like saying horsetail, a horsetail. Ponytail. Oh, that makes complete sense. Okay, wait, there's an update too, but now. Good news, my friend didn't do it, thankfully. The teacher wasn't at school, by the way. She is still in her weird love bubble, but she said it dumb and never work out. (laughs) I want to know what language is this person's first. I will keep an eye on her just in case, so I'm not the asshole. Thanks. It's completely normal for an 18-year-old to be in a love bubble. Like, that right i don't know yeah it is i think the only like slight issue is her confessing it yeah so i do yeah you are the asshole i think you're judgmental she can't support her friend that's not the piece i'm i think the piece of her confessing is appropriate to intervene okay upon but not the rest i don't think you're an asshole i do 50, 50. I would want to be your friend personally, knowing how I am and how you are. We're not a good match. Okay. Whatever. Maybe you're a good match for my friend Connor. No, because I don't think that... I would love to speak to this person on a podcast because I feel like it would be really funny. Okay. Um. Well, I think we need to wrap up because we got bonus coming yeah, up too. Yeah, we have a lot to talk about in the bonus that we yeah. can get to. Like a ton of stuff. A ton. All of it. Because we kind of talked about everything else yeah for like a long time yeah um let's 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 do sexy okay. voices to re- to say goodbye oh do your is se- that what you meant by sexy voice your, in our do, notes do your sexiest voice no. to say goodbye no do, tr- do your best do your no I, voice. I can't just try no just do so no- that's something that i can't do try no you know one i don't do accents and this is even worse try like the thought of like please try, trying to be sexy is okay, not then, something I can then, ever participate. Can we Google what is the sexiest thing to say? And then just say this, just say the sentence. Okay. I Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But I'm not going to use a voice. Well, maybe that's your sexy voice. It's just your normal voice. It's definitely not. Do I make you horny, baby? Uh, <gasps> we got to go. I was doing, <laughs> that's a Austin Powers. I know Do what it is. Do I make you horny, baby? Oh, Sound- the sexiest thing you'd say. 20, 23 men reveal the sexiest thing a woman can oh, say let, to them. Let's pull that up before we go. Sounds like a pretty awesome girl. <laughs> <It's> number one. <laughs> let's make some babies. Two, it's what's on the inside that counts. I would, if a man came up to me, put his arm on my shoulder and said, it's what's on the inside that counts, I would fucking kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what, what's this? Okay. What is the sexiest thing a girl has ever said to you? The only thing you want coming out of my... M- okay. <laughs> oh, no, I can't read that. <laughs> okay. Well, we can wrap up yeah. and and see you in the bonus where we can kind of dig into this a little deeper if we want to. Yeah. All right. 
Do your sexy Ooh, voice. No. Say, do I make you horny, baby? No, I'm not going to say it. Do, say it. You're not going to say no, what? I'll whisper it to you, okay. but I'm not going to say it on whisper the mic. It. I don't want to do it. I would do... <laughs> Computer, enhance. Work? I had the mic so close. Okay, well... <laughs> Ooh! I, it's bad. It's like, no, it's I don't know I why you asked for that. My ear well, I don't know why you like, asked for that. <sighs> okay. See you, <laughs> see you we'll in wrap, the bonus. I gotta go. <laughs> Bye. Bye. This week on Close Friends. Cup, fork, spoon. <gasps> knife! I was Knife! Knife! <gasps> yes! Let me guess. They hate each other. They have a little bit too much to drink. And then they end up having sex. You should write a steamy novel. It's already written a thousand million times. I kept trying to get him out <laughs> of the door. I'm trying to guide him and scare him. Ah, I right, leg. right. He wants to come into the shower. Of course. Oh my God, was that, that Piglet? That was like a human poo. That was Piglet. Sign up on tmgstudios.tv to watch the full bonus episode.